Well, back here in southeast Wisconsin, the deadline is just days away for victims of the Waukesha Parade tragedy to receive part of that nearly $6 million that was raised to help. Community fund organizers say while they have received hundreds of requests, nearly a dozen known victims have not yet registered. Tom Durian has the latest on the money already paid out and what victims need to know before Monday's deadline. It has been three months since a man drove his SUV down this street and into the parade, killing six people and injuring dozens more. And now, thanks to the help of 15,000 donations, financial aid is on the way for the victims. For the families of the six lost on that tragic November night during the Waukesha Christmas Parade, money can't take the place of their loved ones, but the Waukesha Community Fund is there to help with unexpected bills and expenses since the tragedy. So far, more than a million of the $5.7 million raised has been dispersed, mainly to the families of those who died and those who were critically injured. It's a little overwhelming, um, to be honest with you. It is um, the amount of trauma that's out there the things that people saw and experienced. Melissa Baxter is the president of the fund and she has read all of the 240 claim forms sent in so far. It's just unimaginable what people experienced. With the deadline for claims approaching Monday, February 28th, Baxter says there are at least 11 people who were injured that have not reached out and she wants the community to know the funds go beyond those killed or injured. Every person who was there and who was impacted is someone who is eligible to apply for these funds. That includes people who may be traumatized by what they saw that night and first responders who came to the scene. It even includes community nonprofits. We certainly recognize the amazing work they're doing with these victims. The inclusion of nonprofits has come under scrutiny by Victims First, an advocacy group that pointed out a member of the committee deciding who gets the funds also works for the United Way, which is eligible to receive some of the money. Baxter tells TMJ4 the United Way hasn't requested any money from the fund and isn't expected to. Therefore, there is no conflict of interest. The group hopes to have the remainder of the money paid out by the end of March. They've decided to keep the fund open until the end of 2022. If they receive any more donations, they'll make a decision on how to pay out that money as well. Reporting in Waukesha, Tom Durian, TMJ4 News. Tom, thank you. The man charged.